Hi everybody. This is a day long in the making. Some might say too long. Some do. Mm. <laughs> Nevertheless, hey Jack, today we finally get some answers. Josette and I are waiting for House and Cuff to join us, where we will hear an update on the case. Since Maya's departure, mm. I thought it was time that we find out where we stand. Yes. Oh, and by the way, Maya is okay. Thank goodness. Yeah, I guess she's just staying with some friends. It has been quite an ordeal. Mm -hmm. And I am just so grateful that you've been here, Donnie. Oh, of course. Hey, I was talking to the detective a little while back, and I did not know that you went to boarding school in New York. He told you that? <laughs> I'm very interested to hear that story from your perspective. Do you ever wish things had been different? Whether or not I wish things had been different, I cannot change how things happened. However, we can change things with you and Paul. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm really sorry that he didn't make it to your birthday party. What's going Pretty on? Pretty sure that was just because of me. What's going on? Okay, uh, I wish I knew. Have you spoken to him? You didn't see the video? No, I only watched one side. <laughs> no, I, I haven't seen it. Oh, uh, well, I tried talking to him. And? And Paul's a good guy. He's a great guy. And I'm okay. It's okay. I know, but... These things happen. It didn't work out. But, um, we're gonna... I'm gonna be all right. Who knows? Maybe it's a good thing. Maybe it's time for me to head home for a while. My dad is not doing very well, and I've been on the road for a long time. Maybe it's time for me to slow down for a little bit. Well, you must do what you think is necessary. I just want you to always know you have a place in this house. Thank you, Josette. I know. Oh, there they <laughs> Gentlemen, we are eager to hear what you have learned. I'm as eager as you are, ma'am. But the detective won't tell me a thing. That's because you have all the information, dear house. You only need to assemble it. Which it sounds like you've already done. Indeed I have. It's my unfortunate duty to tell you two things. First, is that at this moment I am unable to definitively say where the Moonstone is. And second, of what I do know, my chief suspicion sits with the Reverend Paul Stoddard. <laughs> what? You can't be serious. No, indeed I am. There must be some mistake. Yeah, what are you basing this on? As St. Agatha's chosen representative to oversee the Moonstone transaction, the Reverend's marked unhelpfulness, his repeated efforts to hinder the investigation, and a general disinterest in the Diamond's whereabouts stack the odds quite against him. Circumstantial. Of course, my venerable assistant. But circumstance is all we have. Lest we forget. Paul started his last one to see the stone after volunteering to protect it. And has since cut ties with those closest to him. The, the case... Well, I'm afraid the case is compelling. I don't accept this. Josette. No. You can't prove it. You're quite right. I cannot prove it. Yet. Therefore, my suggestion would be to assign someone to monitor Paul to see if and when the moonstone is pawned. <laughs> Spy on him? No. That is out of the question. Well, second option then would be to surprise Paul with the news that Maya's left the house. See how he responds. Why? It could confirm my suspicion that Paul and Maya have worked together to steal the Moonstone. Nope, that's not Paul. I know him. Now you're saying Maya's involved as well. At the very least, she has knowledge she's not sharing with me. Oh, dear. I... You don't need to decide now. I have to think this through. You're wrong. Oh, I sincerely hope that I am. I do. I may have misjudged you, detective. <laughs>